Dear students, I am here to take you through the advent of Europeans to India in the Middle Ages that is between 5th to 15th century AD. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. If you like this video, click on the like button and share your comments. In this video, we will go through these topics in detail. The trade between India and Europe in the Middle Ages. Europeans interest in India. Discovery of new trade route. After effects of new sea route. European trade companies. Competition among Europeans and settlements. Every country has trade and commerce with another country because no country is totally independent on their own. By the same way, India and other Asian countries had trade relationship since ancient times. It continued during Middle Ages because Indian spices like pepper, cardamom, ginger and many other were in great demand in Europe. You are wondering, right? that how was the trade taken between India and Europe? The trade was taken through land route. The Arab merchants bought the Asian merchandise or goods like pepper, cardamom, ginger into the city Constantinople. The city Constantinople was under the control of Roman Empire. Italian merchants would buy these goods and sell in European countries. Like this, Constantinople was the center of international business and considered as gate of European trade. Let us understand the geographical importance of Constantinople. As you see, it was the gateway between Europe and Asian countries. It was the center of international trade and commerce. That is why it was considered as gateway of European trade. Arab merchants had trade monopoly over Asians and Italian merchants had trade monopoly over rest of the European countries. The fall of Constantinople 1453 AD. As you know, Constantinople was the trade center between Asian and European countries. But in 1453, the Ottoman Turks captured the city of Constantinople. As a result, all the trade routes connecting the city of Constantinople came under the control of Turks. The Turks started levying too many taxes on the goods passing through the Constantinople. As a result, merchants did not get profit. Fall of Constantinople is one of the significant historical event. The terrible war taken between Sultan Mahmud II, Ottoman Turk Emperor and Constantine XI the Roman Emperor, so many people had lost their lives. Turks won the war and gained control over Constantinople. So, finding new sea route was inevitable and the countries like Spain and Portuguese were attempting to break the monopoly of Italian traders. So, they started to encourage sailors to find sea route to India and by the same time compass, astrolabes and gunpowder invented. These were also very important to find new sea route. The new sea route to India. Vasco da Gama, the Portuguese sailor started journey from Lisbon and reached Kapadu near Calicut on the west coast of India 
in the year 1498. Now Calicut is part of Kerala. The sailor Vasco da Gama was successful in discovering a new sea route to India. Like this, Portuguese were the first to re-establish the trade between India and Europe through sea route. These are the various trade entities established by Europeans to trade with India and rest of Asian countries. Portuguese, India, Dutch, United East India Company, English, the East India Company, French, French East India Company. Portuguese were the first to arrive at India for the trade and were also the last to leave India on the sea route. Francisco de Almeida came after Vasco da Gama. He arrived in India as Viceroy of Portuguese. He implemented Blue Water Policy. This blue water policy was implemented in order to establish the supremacy over the sea. Alfonso de Albuquerque came after Almeida. He is considered as the real founder of Portuguese empire in India. Alfonso de Albuquerque waged a battle against the Sultan of Bijapur and on Goa in 1510. Goa became the administrative center of Portuguese administration in India. The Portuguese had complete monopoly over trade with India for almost a century and their power declined after the arrival of English and French. Let us see Portuguese settlements in India in this map. Those places are marked Diu Daman, Goa, Calicut, Kannanur, Mahe, Cochin. Let us move on to Dutch. Dutch are from Holland or Netherlands. They established United East India Company in 1602. The aim of this company was to do business with eastern countries like India, Java, Sumatra, Indonesia and spices rich islands. By establishing warehouses in India broke the monopoly of Portuguese. But later unable to face competition from English and French. Warehouses are the places where goods are stored. Here you can identify some of the warehouses of Dutch in India. They are Pulikat, Nagapattanam, Masali Patanam. Let us move on to English. The Queen Elizabeth of Britain issued a royal charter authorizing East India Company in 1600 December 31st to trade with eastern countries. The royal ambassador Sir Thomas Rowe came to the court of Jahangir, the Mughal emperor and got permission to establish factories in the Mughal kingdom. English established their first warehouse, a factory at Surat. Then English took Madras from the king of Chandragiri and established a port named St. George Fort. Later, English purchased three villages namely Sutanuti, Kolkata, and Govindapura on the bank of river Hooghly. The city Kolkata grew around this port. The port was called Fort William. By 17th century, the English had established Bombay, Madras, Kolkata as the centers of their presidencies. By the later part of the 18th century, Kolkata became capital city. They implemented their own civil and 
criminal procedure courts in the areas that were under their control. You can recognize the English settlements in India map Madras, Vishakapatanam, Calcutta, Bombay, Salset, Surat, Broch, Agra, Patna, Dhaka, Ajmer. French East India Company started in 1664. It started its first factory in Surat in the year 1668. Later, they established trade centers at many places in India. Friends took Valikanandapuram from a local Muslim official and developed it as a major trade center. That center is Puducherry or Pondicherry. Duplex, who arrived at Pondicherry as the Governor General of French, had the high ambitions of establishing French as the major power in South India. This ambition led to Carnatic wars with the English. You can recognize the French settlements in the map. Balsur, Enam, Pandicherry, Karaikal and Mahe. English versus French the Portuguese and Dutch were unable to withstand the competition from French and English by 18th century. But French and English had competition over political supremacy over India. Both were very eager to rule and to get control over India. These reasons led to Carnatic Wars. Carnatic used to be the region in eastern part of Tamil Nadu. Finally, French had to lose all their bases in India due to Carnatic Wars. French lost their importance in India. Like this, English by defeating all their rivals started consolidating their power over India. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my free YouTube channel for more videos on social science and English grammar. Thank you.